Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everyone, uh, happy new year. 2022 is here. It's crazy. Um, I've always wanted to do some of January videos and um, I just got a GoPro uh, for Christmas. And if any of you guys have watched, uh, there's a chef on YouTube. His name is Kenji Lopez Alt. Um, he does cooking videos where he talks during them. Um, but he is the first person I saw that just put a GoPro on his head <laughs> and cooks. And it's literally the coolest thing as far as like being able to see, see how somebody cooks a recipe. Um, so definitely got inspiration from his videos to do, um, these videos. And now that I have this, I think I'm going to do a lot more cooking videos because, um, I've missed doing them. Um, I just don't have the equipment or the skill of editing to like set up a bunch of different cameras and all that stuff. So, um, figured the first January video we do is a breakfast one. People always ask me as a vegan, what I eat for breakfast, tofu scramble, literally the easiest, um, breakfast you can make. It all just depends, you know, there's no wrong way to do it. You use whatever vegetables you have in the house. Um, this morning we had, what did we grab? An onion. We've got mushrooms. Um, just got, uh, got some spinach from our uh, CSA box yesterday. And then I had a green bell pepper. So that's what I used. Um, and there'll be times where I have asparagus. I'll use that. Um, you can use red peppers, yellow peppers. You can literally any, uh, any vegetables work in that. So, um, yeah, it just, this is a, this is really, really easy. All we're doing is chopping our vegetables right now. Um, I mean, <laughs> is it fun to watch people chop vegetables? I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, tofu scramble is one of the first things that I started making um, when I went vegan just because I always used to eat eggs. Um, scrambled eggs with toast was like one of my favorite things. Um, and this just kind of, I mean, listen, it, it mimics it. It doesn't taste like scrambled eggs. Um, you can add, there's, you know, there's stuff you can use uh, like black salt if you want like an eggy flavor, but um, it just kind of goes with that whole texture thing. Like your brain kind of is used to eating scrambled eggs. Like this is kind of like that. So, um, we chopped our bell pepper, chopping our onion. This freaking camera. It's so, it's just, I love this. It's going to be so easy. You just put it on your head, you do all your stuff and then you're done. I was thinking about doing like talking as I do this, but my kids were downstairs and I don't know if, <laughs> <laughs> like, do you get all their conversations in there? I don't know if that's a good idea. So, um, chop the onions and the peppers to be about the same size. Uh, just cause when they cook, it just, it makes them, you know, cook at the same time. Um, we did use mushrooms, so it, uh, those are a little bit bigger as far as like, you know, chopping food goes, but, uh, started to get our pan hot while we finished chopping our, uh, mushrooms. Um, I cook with olive oil and avocado oil. I'm an oil guy when I cook. I know a lot of you guys don't do that. So, um, I've never actually like water sauteed stuff. So that's why we're using olive oil. If you guys use water to saute your vegetables, God bless you. I don't do it. Um, I don't mind the couple extra calories, you know, from cooking with oil, but, um, just start off sauteing the peppers and onions. Those just take a little bit longer to get soft. Um, salt and pepper is kind of my go-to for seasoning. So that's what I'm using here. Um, and just remember, like, d depending on what you're using, um, season as you go, you know, like the onions and peppers are seasoned now, but then we're going to add mushrooms and we're going to add spinach, um, continue seasoning as you, uh, <laughs> as you add more stuff to your pants. So, um, our spinach was washed. So this is a whole head of spinach. This is crazy. Cause, um, if you guys have cooked with spinach, you know how much like spinach wilts down. Um, but it's just, it, this is like a super easy way to just get a ton, um, of greens. So I'm chopping all that. Remember too, spinach has a lot of water in it. So you're going to want to cook it for a little while. Um, the only issue that I ran into in the beginning when I was eating tofu scrambles is between like greens, like spinach and the tofu, there's a lot of, of water, um, in the veggies and the tofu. So it can get watery if you don't cook it long enough. Um, once you're, you know, once you kind of get everything going, um, there we go. We're adding some more pepper now that we added our mushrooms. Um, once you get everything like kind of cooking, just let it sit for a while on the stove, like on low and you know, it'll kind of get all the water out of whatever greens you're using in the tofu. So, um, tofu I'm using, uh, firm. You can use whatever tofu you want. I kind of like firm and extra firm just cause the texture is right for me. 
Um, so you just, you know, you don't have to be crazy about this, but just take it out of the container, drain it. You can squeeze a little bit to get excess water out. But again, as this cooks, the water is going to come out. So let's see here. Our mushrooms were getting, I don't know, we sauteed that for probably like five or six minutes. They were getting soft at our spinach. You'll see how much this cooks down. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, I mean, tofu, you can eat just right out of the package. You don't really have to do anything to it. So, I mean, the basics of this breakfast is just cooking all your vegetables um, to how you want them. And then you just kind of add the tofu at the end and make it warm and you're done. So, oh, look at us seasoning again as we go. You got to do it. It's kind of fun just sitting here watching this. <laughs> I'm really into like cooking stuff. I can sit and watch cooking videos all day long. That's how I learned how to cook. We were talking about it. When I was uh, in college, I didn't know what I was doing. And I started watching Food Network, as crazy as that sounds. So now before, or now that we're adding our tofu, nutritional yeast and turmeric is what we're going to add. That's what these two things are. Um, nutritional yeast, it's an awesome natural source of uh, B12. I know people freak out about B12 on a vegan diet. Um, nutritional yeast has that. And then the turmeric gives the scramble, like that yellow color, kind of like eggs. Um, I will say with turmeric, um, it can be pretty intense as far as the flavor goes. So be careful in the beginning when you're cooking with it until you get used to it. Um, it just, it's, it's got a, a strong flavor to it. So, but yeah, the more you add to this, the more yellow <laughs> your tofu scramble would be. Um, but yeah, got the nutritional yeast and turmeric in there. Just kind of saute all that together. At this point, you're essentially done. Um, you're just kind of letting everything sit and marry. So like I said, the longer, uh, look at us clean as we go. Um, the longer you let this sit, the more moisture will come out of it. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's essentially it. We're done. Do we add anything else to this? We might have. You can add whatever, you know, any other, whatever seasonings you want. Uh, I usually eat uh, this with hot sauce. When I'm done, I always, you can put it in uh, a tortilla for a burrito. Um, I ate mine with toast. Oh, we did add, uh, we added garlic powder to it is what we did. There we go. Garlic is good for you. <laughs> so yeah, that is it. Tofu scramble, easy breakfast. Um, super quick i mean this took all of what like 10 minutes i mean when i edit this video down it'll be shorter than 10 minutes i'm sure but uh if you have time to cook vegetables you've got time to make tofu, uh, tofu scramble so i think that's it i think i should have eaten some of it huh i didn't even think to do that i just kind of got to this point and i was done and i shut the camera off so um, if you guys have any questions let me know if you try this out let me know how you liked it if you added anything to this let me know what you did um then yeah, that's it. Happy Veganuary. Um, and cheers to eating less meat in 2022. I will see you guys later.